mean to start? <laughs> yes. Um, first of all, in these, in your very good keynote this morning, we've seen lots of other possible languages for the Java virtual machine. And of course, Ruby was missing in this. <laughs> At least you mentioned it. And um, the question is, what are the plans at Sun? What kind of support could you give to a language like Ruby to make it uh, make it flourish on the Java virtual machine? I think that we are, to be completely honest, quite opportunist. Um, there is a lively ecosystem of dynamic languages out there. We could name the names, but we, we all know who they are. And um, I'm not smart enough to predict uh, which will succeed and which will fail, and I don't think Sun is smart enough either. So, um, you know, so for almost any dynamic language project, we will happily donate a server or something like that if, if you need a server. Um, we need, if we hear reports about problems in the Java technology that are getting in the way, that's serious. We, you know, those those would be addressed. Um, we, uh, I think we, we have officially adopted uh, the Rhino JavaScript implementation for Mustang um, simply because JavaScript is everywhere now you know, when you look. We have hired a couple of people to work on JRuby. Um, of, so those two we have actually done something you know, official to support. The next most interesting languages for me, speaking personally, would be Groovy and Python. What I'm wondering is, I mean, you, you did a lot of work with uh, XML and uh, things like that, and uh, I was a little bit surprised, to be honest, uh, about your keynote, because it mainly talked about uh, more like Java-oriented and, and deep-down things, especially dynamic languages that, we are, that we've been talking about. So I'm actually wondering what, what the focus of your job is. Is it really about caring about dynamic languages and what to do with the Java platforms in these terms, or what, what, what is it? Well, my, my title is Director of Web Technologies. And as far as I can tell, everything that Sun sells is a web technology. Uh, so I'm, I'm quite independent. Uh, I, I work relatively independently. And uh, my job is really to, to watch the world, to see what, you know, what the what, Because developers are so important to Sun. So, so my job is really to watch the world of developers and see what's happening and then go shout at Sun internally saying, you know, look at this, this is what the where the developers are going. And uh, also, on the other side, when Sun does something smart, um, to come back and tell the developers about it. Um, I also do some direct technology contributions around uh, Atom and around uh, file system I.O. performance, believe it or not, and, and some things like that. So what's your take now on, on, let's say, the syndication formats? Uh, have you seen, what, what, what sort of outlook do you see for, for Atom or even for RSS and or Atom? Right, okay, so RSS is the world's most successful application of XML. You know, it's immensely, hugely successful. Um, and RSS, uh, for simple human-to-human news-oriented blog feeds, is perfectly satisfactory. Um, it doesn't work very well for me because I like to write about XML and use XML syntax characters in my titles, and so that blows us RSS <laughs> readers. Um, so uh, the Atom syndication format is getting um, a pretty good uptake. Um, all the major blogging engines now support it. Uh, not all by default, but some are starting to be supported by default. But the interesting part of Atom is actually the publishing protocol. You know, um, can I talk about that a little bit? That's sort of my, my, my main technical issue these days. Um, so the publishing protocol is uh, an incredibly thin, very simple layering over HTTP to allow pushing anything, words, pictures, movies, uh, sound, onto the, onto the web. <coughs> and um, what's astounding is that we don't have a good protocol for doing that. The closest thing is web dev. Mm -hmm. But web dev, is, 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 the implementations are shaky, and the, the problem is what we want to do is we want to empower everything, you know, starting with these things, to be uh, publishing platforms. And so the, the big trick about Atom is if you want to put something new on the web, um, you don't have to say its name. You just say, 
here's the app, here's the, here's the text, or here's the, here's the bits for the picture, and the service, server comes back and says, okay, here's where I put it, here's the URL where I put it. So the server owns all the problems of managing the service, that's been this much better division of labor. So the, division, the, the dream of Adam is, is easy to understand. You know, every cell phone, every camera, every spreadsheet, every word processor, every browser should have a publish button. You know, it should be file save and file publish. And everything should be publishing enabled. And, and there's no, so Adam is the, is the protocol to, mm -hmm. to, to, to underlie that. And I, I think it's going to work. You know, Google's implementing it. Nokia is starting to implement it on the, uh, on the handsets. Um, is Amazon doing it for S3? Uh, yeah, yeah. There's, there's, oh, for Atom? No, I don't think they're using Atom for S3. They're using a REST, a REST API for yeah. S3.